What's going on everybody? This is Fishing for Silver and today we're going to do a little bit of a different kind of video. Um, hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, go through all my tackle today. My rods and reels that I use the most often. I've got four set aside over here um, that we'll be going through and then I've got my tackle bag right here which is a baseball bag that I bought at Walmart a few years ago. Um, really cheap. I think like it was like $13 or something and it holds all my tackle the way I want it to. Um, I just want to do a little intro for you, let you know what we're going to be discussing in this video today. Um, this was actually suggested by a subscriber named Samuel, so thanks Samuel for the suggestion and we're going to actually finally get to it. It's been a little while since I posted a video. Um, there is going to be some bonus footage at the end of this video. It's going to be some fishing clips that I recorded. Um, I will hope you enjoy those, but unfortunately that video didn't get to get fully made. So we just have a couple clips, but without further ado, let's get into the video today. So first, I think I'm going to go through the rods and reels that I use. So let me grab the first one here. Okay, so this is my light rod. Um, it's actually a light medium rod, but this is a um, Eagle Claw Black Eagle rod with a Shakespeare, with a Shakespeare um, reverb reel on it little reel here. I think it's a 1000. Um, the Reverb 1000. Um, it's not a really expensive setup, um, but I really like this uh, rod and reel for bluegill fishing and um, creek fishing. I use it a lot for like creek fishing to catch little, you know, rock bass or whatever out of the creek. Right now I have like a little curly tail grub rigged up on it, a chartreuse one that we went to the lake. I thought this might catch me some crappie or something, so I rigged it up. Unfortunately, I didn't use it any, but um, I'll I'll rig anything from like spinners, little uh, you know little marble spinners or anything like that on here to just uh, bobber and sinker and a little hook and go bluegill fishing. I like to use this for that. It is a light rod. It's a five foot six, um, and this is just what I use to bluegill fish. Okay, next up. Um, there's a video about this one on my channel. This is my uh, Blues American Hero. Well, hold on, this other rod's falling down. Don't fall down. Okay, this is the, the Blues American Hero rod and reel. It's in the camouflage pattern. You can kind of see that there probably. It's a speed, speed stick. This is a six foot six, two piece, um, medium action rod here. I really like it, and I really like this reel. Uh, as well, the American Hero reel. Uh, this is, I bought this combo. Shoot, I can't remember how long ago I bought this combo. I got a little swim bait on here right now, but that's not what I would usually use this for. I usually use this for um, soft plastics, um, Senko stuff like that. And I just rig them up on here and let them do their thing. And this catches me a lot of fish. Probably the most fish I catch comes off of this rod and reel here. I use this thing a lot. I really like it. There is a review on the channel. If you want to know more about this rod and reel setup and how much it costs and stuff, you can go check that out. I think it's just called Rod American Hero Rod and Reel uh, Review. So um, there is an in-depth video about this rod and reel combo that I bought. Um, so if you want to, you can check that one out. All right. And this is my probably my main pole, I would say. I use this for most of my fishing. Next, we got a 6.6, or actually this is a 6.8, and this is a quick stick. Um, this is a 6.8 quick stick medium um, rod, and this has the Piscifun Venom reel on it, which I really have enjoyed so far. I think they ended up actually changing the name. It's now called the Viper, this reel, but this is the Piscum Venom before it was the Viper. This is a, I think this is a 2500 or a 3000. I could be wrong, I can't remember exactly. But uh, Piscifun is, I really like the this uh, spinning reel. Um, and this I use for a lot of moving baits. It's a little, it's not as uh, precise because it's a 6.8 and the tips are really, uh, really easy to, to move and jerk around. And so I use this for moving baits just because it's not as 
finesse the the uh, the American Hero reels is a little more finesse oriented. Where this one I like to use a lot of moving baits and stuff on, and it does just fine. Does exactly what I want. I really like this reel. Um, it's pretty nice, and uh, I like the rod in general. And uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about this one. And last but not least, I have my seven foot medium heavy uh, ugly stick rod. So this is a seven foot medium heavy ugly stick rod with a Black Max, um, Abu Garcia Black Max bait caster on it. This, I don't use this very much. You've probably actually never even seen this in a video because I just don't use it for pond fishing and stuff. But when we go to the lake, I take this usually and um, I like to use it. I really like these ugly stick um, seven foot medium heavy rods. They do exactly what I want them to and they've got a really good length back here so that I can really work this with my hand, with one hand if I want to, with my left if I want to. and um, I can really work that <clears throat> kind of action and stuff. I don't use this as much as I should. I should get this out more. I have a lot more rods and reels than this, but these are the ones that I've decided to kind of showcase today, just these four. Um, and uh, I really like all my setups, and uh, hopefully we'll get to use them uh, pretty soon here to go fishing, and maybe we'll try to get a video. So the first thing I really wanted to start out with in my tackle bag was my uh, soft plastics that I carry with me at all times. I always have um, some type of Senko, whether that be Lunker Logs, Guggen Bates Lunker Logs, or Strike King, or um, any brand, Dingers, Yum Dingers, any kind of Senkos. I always have Senkos. I always have some kind of um, like six inch worms. I always have some of these. Um, and that's just kind of what I use. Uh, the power bait ones specifically, I don't have to use these. It could be any kind of um, worm hook, or I mean worm uh, in general, but these are, these are really smelly and they have a big thick tail, so these work good for me. And then I always have lizards on me, <clears throat> Zoom lizards, uh, those little six inch ones. I always have some of these. These are black with red flake, but um, you can get any color and these usually will catch you fish. And you can just kind of, you know, rig these on a worm hook. Use them the same way you would like the worms I just showed. Um, so that's kind of the first section there of the, of the box. The second section is the same, but it's with, it's all my creek fishing baits. So it's little, little Senkos, um, Nico Helgramites, um, some Z-Man, uh, Neds, these little, we call them turds, um, these little Z-Man, little tiny dudes here, you can put these on a weighted hook, you've also got the Z-Man Crawls, I use these a lot, I use these as trailers as well, but I like to use these for creek fishing as well, they're pretty sturdy, they hold up good, and then I got some, this is just a big pack of Cabela's Grubs here, these are kind of a black and silverish color, I like these because they look like a shad. They're actually called shad. I don't know if you can see that there. They're actually called shad. And these are the four inch ones. So they got a big tail on them. These catch me a lot of fish. I use these as well as trailers on things like um, on like spinner baits and stuff like that. I'll use these as trailers as well. So that's all the soft plastics that I really carry with me. I try to have all of those um, at some point or another. Now we can get into my boxes that I use. So this first box, I'm gonna just kind of describe what's in it. This is a soft plastic box, but it also has my frogs and jigs in it. So I've got some jigs in here. I've got a lot of soft plastic baits in here, crawls, a lot of worm hooks in here, um, brush hogs, just all kinds of soft plastic baits. And this is kind of a variety box, really, but I also carry my frogs in here. So. That's kind of the unique thing, I dropped it. That's kind of a unique thing about this is I also carry my frogs in here. Um, but it's also got my jigs and stuff like that in it. So that's kind of this box. This is, I would call this my, my trailer slash jig frog box. That's what I would call that box. 
Next, we have my moving bait box that I take with me um, if we go to the lake and stuff. This has just got some, some crank baits, some jerk baits. Um, it's also got lipless cranks uh, like this guy. Um, I carry these. It's also got some poppers in it. Um, it's just really like an all-in-one. If you need a moving bait, it's probably in here. Anything that you could think of as far as a moving bait, it's probably in this box. Um, we've got these little spinner baits here, and you can see there's one of those four-inch shad that I was talking about earlier. They look really good on the back of these. Um, so there's some 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 of those in there, and then we've just got crankbaits, these littler crankbaits that look like a sunfish, and just jerk baits in here, and all kinds of stuff. And that's kind of the gist of this box is just um, moving baits, just anything that I could really need that's a moving bait. This is my worm box uh, right here. Uh, this is my worm box. This is, has anything from, I've got these really cool orange, like real light colored. If the water is really muddy or if the water is uh, really, really clear, you can use these. Um, if, if, it's, if, it's not if it's really muddy, I usually use a darker color. But this just has, I mean, I'm talking about probably hundreds of soft plastic worms in it. Um, anything from 8 inch zoom worms, the black and red is my favorite color, to you've got little short worms, you've just got, I mean literally everything in here. Um, you've got these little, these are little power bait ones that we saw earlier, something kind of close to that. So this is just my worm box. This I use this a lot in pond fishing. And you can use this a lot at the lake too with, uh, you know, catching <clears throat> bass at the lake too. So it's not a bad box to keep around. Um, and it's just basically, it's really just used for worms. Um, so there's a ton of worms in there. I mean, I can show it to you. It's a mess because I'm not very organized when it comes to my fishing baits. But um, they're in there and that's what I use them for. And then last but not least is my biggest Ozark Trail container here. This is my big one. This one is really my creek fishing box. This has all my creek fishing stuff in it. Um, it's got little little jigs in it like that. It's got little tiny spinner baits in it. It's got the it's got the little crawfish imitations in it for catching smallmouth. That one's all tangled up. You can't see it. There it is. So a little crawfish imitations in it. Um, everything bobbers that I use when I creek fish if I use live bait um, literally everything these little tiny bobbers I use for bluegill fishing sometimes the spinner baits the rooster tails that I use um, even some top water it's even got some little um, some little tiny grubs and stuff in here that I use and little bobbers and stuff and some little moving baits too little like uh, I'm not very organized here you can tell but right here is a spinner bait, and then there's a little grasshopper lure. Uh, so that's kind of the stuff I use when I go creek fishing. Uh, this is just my creek fishing box. So I think that's going to just about wrap up the video. Um, that's all of my tackle, basically, that I use on a regular basis. Um, I also carry around a Berkeley scale that I got at Walmart. They're pretty cheap and easy to find. Um... And I think that's just about it. Um, the bag, um, my bag also doubles as a rod holder. It has a, uh, I can kind of show you here. So I can use this pocket. This pocket will hold a rod and then I can strap it in here. So it'll also carry a rod if I want it to, which makes things a little easier. I can pack that instead of packing all my rods. But I think that's going to be just about it for today's video, guys. Um, if you enjoy, um, please hit a like button down there for me and subscribe. Um, we're, uh, we're doing pretty good. We've got th over 50 subscribers now. I'm really happy about that. And we're getting a lot of views on some videos. So thank you for all the recent support. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. And that's going to be all for me, Fishing for Silver, for today. Peace out. All right, so we got a little bass here, it looks like. Perfect. Oh, yeah, good little size bass. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, right there you can see that's the Nico Helgemite right there. Perfect little bass. Well, I can't get this hook out. But oh man, his teeth are sharp too, which means he hasn't been caught probably this year.
speeding good. All right, let's cut the camera. We'll get a weight on this guy and we'll bring it back to you, okay? All right, another little good little sized bass here. Definitely not the same one I caught earlier. No hook marks in the mouth, but not a bad sized fish. Let's get a weight on him. We'll just keep it rolling here. The Dalton move out of the way. One pound on the dot. I don't know if you can see that, one pound on the dot though. So another not bad sized bass. We're gonna get a release on this little guy. Don't come over here and get a good release on him. Alright, not a bad fish. Alright, let's get back at it. That's number two on the Nico Helgramite. 